So you'd want to give me your name and say it and spell it for me? My name is Guy. And would you like to spell that for me? G U Y. Guy? Okay. No last name? Last name Fox. F A W K E X. Okay, and uh, tell me what's going on here. Right here, it's uh, the late night of a million mask march. We are anonymous and we are here basically putting foot to ground against tyrannical government and basically the inequalities thereof. Now, what's the main message that you want everybody to hear tonight? The main message we want everybody to get is to educate themselves, to look out into what their government really is doing to them. Things like GMOs, things like uh, your bill of rights being annexed into basically the Patriot Act and basically ripping away any of your actual constitutional rights. Uh, we want people to basically look within themselves and find the government that really needs to be in basically for everybody here. Okay, now uh, what movement are you a part of? We're anonymous. Okay, the, uh, the anonymous movement? Absolutely. Uh, you, because you said earlier that... Well, it's the Million Mask around. March. It's the Million Mask March, which is basically anonymous, coming out to the foreground and saying, these are the issues we want to stand for collectively. I don't represent the actual group. I represent the ideas that I believe in I am proliferating. I also have a couple of my cohorts here who can also delve deeper for you. Okay, and, uh, and how many of you uh, have there been tonight? Uh, tonight, earlier in the day, I would say we were close to like about a three to four hundred group and slowly but surely it dwindled down. We were here at about 10 a.m. We started at Pershing Square. We then came all the way to City Hall and from then we just basically been going about town. We were at LA Times until the LA Times finally gave us an interview and a reporter to put something on the dot com for us. We feel as though media, even though you're giving us the time of day right now, is really underrepresenting our views and more or less the views of the people. Anything else that you'd like to say? Let me uh, join you or pass you over to one of my other cohorts then. Okay. Hello, other cohort. You look very, Hi. you look very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna have you stand over this way a little more. Get a little different background. But I'm gonna need you to step close to me because it's just me. Okay. And what's your name? My name is Guy. <laughs> Let me guess your last name. <laughs> yes, it's Fox. <laughs> okay. Okay, and uh, so tell me, uh, expand upon the ideals that you want everybody to hear from you tonight. Um, I think the ideals that we're all here in solidarity for um, are just the corrupt government, the corruption, the tyranny. We feel like it needs to end. We feel like we need to educate people and let them know because, you know, to have a population that is unaware of even what's going on is not a way that a country should be run. Um, people should know... Um, what they're going into and they should be treated fair they should be treated with liberty and this is america so where's the justice where's the equality and um you know we we back when our founding fathers founded this country they founded it on escaping from that tyranny escaping from the people who were trying to oppress them and that's that's what we're trying to bring through we're trying to say that we're not going to stand for this anymore we are the american people we are together and we're marching across the world right now to let them know that we're not gonna take this anymore, that there needs to be a revolution, there needs to be an awakening, there needs to be change. And the only way that we can make a change is by coming out here, coming into the streets and showing them that we're not gonna give in, we're not gonna succumb to their war, we're not gonna succumb to their genocide, we're not gonna let them murder our children, we're gonna have something to tell our children, we're gonna, when our children and their gen children look back, they're going to say that we stood up for ourselves and that we made a difference and that we fought for our freedom so that they could have a good life, so that they wouldn't have to live in tyranny, in constant fear of never knowing what's going to happen to them or never being able to leave their house or being spied on by the NSA or just the climate change that's happening that in a, if there's not changes made, that the climate change will just completely destroy our earth and can we even be living here anymore like if there's something doesn't change so just we're here in solidarity for many reasons but i think we're all together and the anonymous means you know like that we are one that's why we wear these masks because we're not different people we're all the same we're all when we put these masks on we're we're one we're together and we stick we stand for something and yeah that's what that's where do what, you go from here well right
right now we're th we're gonna do a sit-in. We're we're planning to sit in as long as we can. Um, we would like to spend the night here in front of the police station if we could. Um, you know, we're being peaceful. These these officers are you know leaving us alone. They're not getting away. We just, we actually spoke with an officer right now, and he was really he was friendly to us, um, even though we didn't agree with him. Um, so so yeah, we we're gonna try to take this as far as we can. We've been here since 10 a.m. We had a large group of people um, earlier. We marched all around LA, and it was awesome, you know. And like we really we really feel like we got our message out, and we're gonna stay here until. As long as we can, as long as possible. Years? <laughs> Not years, <laughs> but days Not if it needs to. You know, the, the, the sit-in in Istanbul, the one that started the revolution in Turkey, that started with like a peaceful protest, a sit-in at a park with not more than 20 people, I would say, 20 to 50 people maybe. And that turned into a worldwide revolution. So you never know the amount of change that a so small spark can create, you know? So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna see how much change we, you know, we weren't even expecting to be here we were just sitting here and you know you came by and so you never know what's going to happen you never know what you can do to like make a difference is there anything else you want to say no that's no you're very well spoken you know what i i could do it but i gotta tell you we're only probably gonna have time for a couple on the air what 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 would sound everything i want to say here okay We'll do it. Do you, have, do you have something to... Our political and economic systems are based on violent top-down organization, and they violate consent. And it requires scarcity in regards to the very necessities of life in order to function. And the tribute is 9 million plus people a year dying from starvation alone. And 40% of the deaths on this planet are from bad water, bad soil conditions. So there's a system of systemic violence that creates behavioral violence and it's inherently corrupt. Thank you, Guy. I, I just assumed.